Uh, this is Robert. Hi there. I'm Gabriella, and um, we wanted to work on Backyard Expedition. And as our MC kindly explained, a big problem that the museum has, and uh, I can't attest to it, like to the volume of it, but if someone finds something that they think looks like a fossil, they take a picture and they go to their email and they email a person at the Museum of Natural History. And if you can imagine how many people find things in their yard and are like, oh, this is cool, this maybe it's a fossil, let me ask someone who knows. Um, and you're the person receiving all of this email, it can be overwhelming and very difficult to manage. So um, our solution was um, to move it away from email and uh, into a database um, and to, like another like problem is that people, like the variance between the kinds of emails that they get, the resolution of the photographs, the description of where they found it and how they found it has a high variability because maybe someone who is into fossils can tell you, oh, it was this kind of rock and I found it like digging around a little bit or someone who is maybe younger or, or just out on a hike and find something that, that looks interesting, picks it up. Um, they like maybe just say like, oh, I just found this rock, is it a fossil? So what we wanted to do was we wanted to reduce that and um, uh, we asked the paleontologist that was hanging around this morning what is the most important things that they need and they said that the most important thing is a photo that is in focus and that sounds really obvious but sometimes people send pictures that aren't very sharp or very big um, and the location where it was found, not necessarily where you live and where you submitted it. Um, and then things that were just nice to have are um, a scale, like put a coin or a ruler next to it um, and I guess the focus, yeah. Cool, so what we did was uh, we went through like um, applications that exist already that kind of have some sort of snap to save and then submit it somewhere else like Instagram and Snapchat. Um, and the process is just, uh, we drew it out as, uh, oh, this is for iPhone by the way. Um, we drew it out as steps that a user takes. Take a picture, you know, wiggle it around, zoom. Um, and then uh, I set to work, I'm a UX designer, and like started doing this flat design of all of the questions that we need to get from the users. And then I went to sleep, and Robert went to work. Right. He's been up all night, by the way. Right. And so I, you know, it is running on a phone, but we're just gonna simplify things and, uh, and run a little short walkthrough video of how the application would work, or does work. Uh, so the uh, first screen uh, has some instructions that helps uh, get a better quality uh, of photo. Namely, it tells you to take something in focus and have a ruler. Uh, it presents a dialogue where you can choose a previously taken photo uh, in, the in your photo library or a uh, new camera. I found this uh, earlier today, <laughs> and I think it might be a fossil. Uh, so I want to submit it to the paleontologists here. Uh, I found another one uh, just down the hall, and I think that also might be a fossil. Uh, so I want to send multiple photos to, to really give them more information about what this could be. You can send up to five. Uh, then uh, we looked at the existing field or forms and identified some of the common fields that they, uh, that they seem to like to have. Uh, what do you think it is? Uh, do you have any uh, information about like, the context around uh, where you found it? Uh, and very importantly, where did you ex uh, pick up the specimen? Uh, so uh, we added a little map view, uh, put some contact information in there, and send it off. Uh, that is the uh, basic flow that we envision for a very simple uh, user client to uh, help streamline uh, the specimen collection. Turn it back over to Gabby. Yeah, and um, obviously this is just a proof of concept. Um, you can take a picture, add some data to it, send it off to ideally a database. Um, we weren't, uh, we couldn't find um, anyone to work with. It's all smoke and mirrors right now. <laughs> um, it doesn't save anywhere. Uh, but ideally it would go to a database, not to an email. And it, like someone wouldn't receive it directly and it would have an attachment. You would go into some sort of web interface and look at all the, all the, the records that were created. Um, and their next steps um, is to, if you like, are someone who is really interested in doing this more, you can have like a gallery of submissions that you've done before, which requires creating an account and is like a whole other um, thing that we just didn't have time to get into. And something that was really interesting, do you wanna talk about the blurriness? Yep. So one thing that they kept saying was the importance of having very sharp photos. And something that a mobile client could do is it could do image processing and analysis uh, directly on the phone instead of having to send it off to a backend to, to be further processed. So something we didn't quite get to this weekend, but we think would be a very valuable addition is to do something like uh, focus detection or other types of uh, analysis on the content of the image to uh, help 
uh, increase the quality and therefore increase um, the, uh, the ability of the paleontologist to correctly identify uh, what it could be. And so those are some of the things that we think that uh, a native app uh, could bring to the solution, and uh, it's what we'd like to do in the future. Thank you.